uh, my light bulb moment recently after um, the family cleared our family home um, was taking care of um, a beautiful sampler um, stitched at York School, now the Mount School, mm -hmm. by Anne Eliza Spence in 1837. And uh, the realisation that uh, um, these things must be cared for. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I, it, uh, one of the things I need to do is find out um, people who can restore and uh, clean and reframe beautiful things like this so that they're kept in the best possible condition. Um, so that's, uh, I hope, a, a bit of a searchlight uh, for me in the next few months. So are Thank you wanting you. somebody to do it for you or are you wanting some information on how to present? Well, I, ideally to find um, somebody, uh, an expert in this field uh, of cleaning and mounting. Um, well, it's nearly now 200 years old. Um, textiles, obviously very fragile. There's a couple of other things in the chat. Uh, Alice is saying that her maternal forebears had fertilizer works at Skeldig Gate. Um, do you want to come in with anything there, Alice? Well, uh, uh, just briefly, that um, my grandmother and my mother did a lot of work on the archives, and um, there are lots of interesting family stories. Um, particularly where things went uh, a bit haywire. And uh, at one point, one of the sons had to be bailed out by uh, by the meeting. Um, can't remember all the details. Um, but uh, those records um, are all available um, if anyone's interested in the stories behind the people. Thank you. And that's at North Allerton, is it? I think that the actual business, uh, the records of the business are at North Allerton, but the family records, um, well, I, I deposited them all at the Balthwick Institute uh, about 10 years ago.